You didn't hear me, so that's good. I didn't hear you. Good, phew. You heard me. You didn't hear me either. No, good. It's all good. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> it wasn't about you.
Instagram. Yeah, I'm, with you. Oh. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm leaving with you. <laughs> Council. Hello, Dusty. How are you, bud? Good. Good evening. I'd like to call the Lawrence City Council meeting to order. Today's Tuesday, September 3rd. Mr. Clerk, roll call, please. Kendris Vasquez. Present. Councilor Vasquez, present. Councilor LaPlante. Here. Councilor Toomey. Here. Council Reyes. Present. Council Monte. Here. Council Kino. Present. Council O'Connor Bernal. Present. Uh, Council Vice President Rivera noted and Council President Moran. Here, please rise for a moment of silence. Council, our first item on the agenda is the acceptance of the minute for August 20th. I need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye, it's have it. Next item on the agenda is public participation. Participant, you have two and a half minutes to state your comments. After two minutes, the bill would ring. You have 30 seconds to wrap up your comments. Please address the city council as a whole and as individual. First participant, Dick Russell. Name and address for a record, please. Sir. Good evening, councilors. The name's Dick Russell. I reside at 34 Cross Street in Lawrence. Today's a sad day in Lawrence history. Today was the last official day of John Romero's chiefdom. To paraphrase a famous quote in French history, the chief is gone. Long, live, may, long may his ideals remain. Several questions that nobody seems to be able to answer or wants to answer are, who is on the chief selection committee? I sent emails out to all of you. I have heard nothing. Are there any citizens and taxpayers on this committee? And if not, why aren't they uh, citizens and taxpayers on uh, input needed or wanted? Okay. Now, I know this isn't going to go over too good with all the people behind me, but I do this because I don't want to pop up at each nomination. I would, uh, at the risk of incurring the wrath of uh, all of these uh, nominations being sent up from the full council, from the personnel committee, I would like to suggest the tabling of all of these nominations until after the November election. The possibility of the present mayor becoming a lame duck is a possibility. I feel that any new mayor should have the right to have his board and commission members who are working in his best interests. After all, a lot of these positions have been vacant for a considerable amount of time. Several more months of vacancy can't hurt the city. We, the citizens of Lawrence, can't gamble that we may be stuck with lame duck appointments. Finally, I had an enjoyable time at the Bread and Roses Festival as a first time attendee yesterday. I swear I saw a lot of people at various booths that I ran across while working in Harvard Square in the late 60s and early 70s. My only complaint was all the private vehicles that were parked on the common, I guess in violation of the permitting process. That's the only complaint I had. I was parked up the street two or three times. I had to go over to get my rain jacket because of the rain. These people thought it was perfectly acceptable. I looked at some of the groups. I saw what they represented and yeah, they represented themselves. They stayed dry. They had their car there. Thank you. Thank you. Next participant, Councilor LaPlante. Let me address for the record, please, Council. 29 Durso Ave here in the city of Lawrence. Uh, two items. First of all, we all by now know that um, Mayor Lantigo has uh, appointed a new interim or acting police chief, uh, Captain Fitzpatrick. And by all accounts and by everyone that I've had a chance to speak with, uh, that selection is a very good selection. He's got a very good reputation in the police department. And I think that um, I applaud the mayor for that interim selection. Um, the only concern that I've seen in that press release is that the mayor said that he was going to try or look to get a permanent appointment within 30 days of, of today. 
and I'm going to let the record reflect that I will be not be supporting any candidate for a permanent position for the police chief at this time. I think it's worthy to wait until after a new mayor is elected, a new city council is appointed, and let those individuals have the chance to have their, um, their seal on who is going to lead us, that's going to lead our police department for potentially many, many years. I don't think that right now is a good time or the right time to put somebody in a permanent position. The second point I want to make, uh, council president, is that we are now at the one year anniversary of the indictments of uh, two police officers, uh, Deputy Police Chief Bonilla last September the 11th, and also uh, Patrolman uh, Lopez last September 25th. And as we all know, these individuals continue to get paid by the City of Lawrence. The mayor does have within his authority the ability to go ahead and suspend these individuals without pay, but has opted not to. Uh, the tally continues to run. We are currently at probably over a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, and, and benefits and in uh, salary that are going to these individuals. And uh, the mayor is serious about making some reforms and transparency. He would do wise by the people in the city of Lawrence uh, to go ahead and suspend these individuals without pay. Many of my colleagues here, council president, have been in support of that. Unfortunately, the mayor has turned a deaf ear to those pleas and continues to pay. And I think that in this one year anniversary of those indictments that the mayor review this and I'm calling on him to do so at this time. Thank you. Thank you. That ends public participation. These names will be submitted to the clerk's office to be archived. Next item on the agenda is a public hearing, document 165, handicap parking, Jose Amarza. Mr. Clerk, please read the notice. Document 165-2013. Notice is hereby given the City Council will hold a public hearing on Tuesday, September 3rd, in City Council Chambers, 200 Carmen Street at 7 p.m. The purpose of said hearing is to gather testimony, information, and public input <coughs> concerning a proposed amendment to the revised ordinances for the City of Lawrence to be amended by adding the following new paragraph of the Municipal Code concerning handicapped parking to be inserted in proper alphabetical order. Folly Street north side from a point 202 feet easterly of the intersection of Brookfield Street to a point 222 feet easterly of the intersection of Brookfield Street. Persons wishing to be heard shall be afforded the opportunity as published. Public hearing is not open. Anybody wish to be heard? No, public hearing is not closed. Councilor, worship pledge. Motion to approve. Do I hear Thank second? You discussion. Discussion. Councilor uh, Reyes. Can we waive the 30 days for that? Sure. Is that? Uh, I accept the, the amendment. Accept the amendment. Is the motion on the table is amended? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Councilor, there's an item here on the agenda I'd like to take out of order. Document 342A-12. So moved. Looking for a motion to take it out of order. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have it. Document 342-8, Medical Marijuana Treatment Center proposed extension of moratorium on medical marijuana dispensary. Signed was submitted by Dan McCarthy, Lance Hughes Planner. Mr. McCarthy. Uh, good evening, uh, members of the council. Uh, Daniel McCarthy, uh, City Planner, 225 Essex Street, Lawrence, Mass. Uh, the... Um, we the, the, this council uh, had voted in a moratorium on the permitting of marijuana um, um, dispensaries back uh, six months ago. That moratorium is scheduled to end on September 19th. Um, when that happens, it's going to open up the opportunity for people to come down and try and permit in the city without having a proper ordinance in place. We've had a, ta a, a task force that's working uh, very strongly on this. We have. Um, a, a drafted ordinance that we think we'll be bringing to this council very soon. But to protect the city, I would like to uh, uh, amend, uh, amend or extend the current um, um, matter that is before you, 342A, which is a moratorium. I'd like to extend it for another six months. Um, I have a document um, that I filed and I sent copies around to everybody, but I have hard copies here that I'd like to pass out. Thank you. Thank you. So the vote that we're going to be asking is that um, that this board extends the current um, existing moratorium for permitting of medical marijuana. Uh, which ends on September 19th 
for a period of six months, that date being March 19th, 2014, or until an earlier date if a new ordinance is drafted by in, in, for the permitting of MMDs, which is medical marijuana uh, dispensaries. So th that's um, essentially what we're here for. I think it's, a, it's an emergency. I think we've all re reviewed this. It's been the committee. Uh, we understand what we're talking about. It's, uh, it, th this is to allow the city some protection from somebody coming in too early um, under the guidelines of the state and trying to put something in the city that we're not prepared to do. Uh, so that's my, that's my request. Okay. Councilor, I'm looking for a motion to, uh, to approve the extension to March 19, 2014. So moved. A second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah, I said I'm looking for a motion to waive the 30-day notice. So moved. Any second. second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nice to have it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Councilor, there's one more item here that I'd like to take out of order. Document 209. Looking for a motion to take docu document 209 out of order. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The yeah, ayes have it. Document 209. Acceptance of uh, lead hazard control in healthy homes grant from the Department of Housing and Urban Devo Development in the amount of $2.5 million submitted by Evelyn Urania, Housing Manager uh, from the Community Development Department. This item came up from the Budget and Finance Committee. Mr. Chair from the Budget and Finance. Thank you, Mr. President. This item was before the Budget and Finance Committee um, to, to approve the acceptance of $2,500,000 from the uh, Department of H Housing and Urban Development. And it was sent out with a uh, unanimous table of recommendation to do as a formal motion. I hear a second. Second. Any discussion? None. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Nice having. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, going up in order, councilors. Uh, document, uh, going back to communication from Mayor, City Official, and City Attorney, document 222, Lawrence Mur Mural Arts Program, submitted by Councilor Monte. Councilor Monte. Council President, could we table this item to uh, Wednesday, September 18th meeting? It's going to be September 19th. 19th? Yeah. For their September 19th meeting. So I'm looking for a motion to table this item. There's a motion on the table. Mm -hmm. Right here, second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Next item on the agenda is appropriation. Orders of resolution. Document 211. Appropriation transfer from city clerk advertising. Line item 010610-5344 to city clerk's books and su subscriptions, line item 010610-5582 for in the amount of $3,000 submitted by William J. Maloney, city clerk. This item came up from the Budget and Finance Committee, Mr. Chair, from the Budget and Finance. Thank you, Mr. President. This item was before the Budget and Finance Committee um, to transfer the appropriation of $3,000 from the advertising account to the subscription account. And this was sent up with a unanimous favor recommendation. I do that as a formal motion. So here's second. 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 Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Let's have it. Next item on agenda is document 213, Greater Lawrence Vocational High School MSBA grant repairs for $3,126,000 up to This item came up from the Budget and Finance Committee total public hearing. Mr. Chair, the Budget and Finance. Thank you, Mr. President. This item came up from the Budget and Finance Committee. Uh, this was before the Budget and Finance Committee to um, take a vote on allowing the Greater Lawrence Vocational High School through the Massachusetts School Building Authority uh, grant um, for repairs, $3,126,998 to order public hearing, and this came up with a fit, unanimous favor recommendation. I do that as a formal motion. Do I hear a second? Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nice next just a note on that, Council yes. President, can we just make sure that I know it's going to be a public hearing, so we're going to make a public um, advertisement of the matter, but can we also make sure that somebody from the Great Lawrence Vocational High School is here? Just send them a note that they know. Yeah, we do. They were here tonight. Oh, you sent them away? Yeah, they were here tonight, so All right, I told them to be here on the 19th. Good. Thank you, Mr. President. Next item on the agenda is committee reports, document 117, Handicap Parking, 112 Springfield Street, submitted by Onier Garcia. This item came up from the Ordinance Committee to order a public hearing, Madam Chair, from the Ordinance. Thank you, Council President. At the um, Thursday, August 22nd meeting of the Ordinance Committee, the, we did review the um, final police report as submitted, and it was favorable to allow for handicapped parking 
at 112 Spring Springfield Street, came up from the subcommittee with a unanimous favorable recommendation to order a public hearing in any requisite language from the city attorney, and I make that in the form of a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. And discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? I just have a next item on the agenda, document 149, National Grid, request permission to locate poles, wires, and fixtures on Broadway at an intersection of Arlington Street. Uh, submitted by, actually, the item came out from the Ordinance Committee to the public hearing, Madam Chair, from the Ordinance. Uh, thank you, Council President. At the meeting, we did review this item. Um, we had specifically been tabling many of the items from National Grid because we really have not been satisfied with the resolution of the double poll items. And a representative from National Grid was present, as well as Arthur McCabe from the Community Development Office, who did report back to us that um, we, had, as a council, had targeted 40 polls to be removed, and that 18 of those 40 were already removed, nine were scheduled to be removed. So we felt like that was some substantial progress. We're still taking the National Grid items on a case-by-case -case basis, but in light of the fact that the only person being penalized by this lack of a, um, movement on this item was the homeowner, it did come up from the subcommittee with unanimous favorable recommendation to order public hearing to allow National Grid to relocate poles and wires at the address on Arlington Street, and I make that in the form of a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Yes, I have it. Next item on agenda is document 193, National Grid and Verizon New England. Request permission to locate poles, wires, and fixtures on Lee Street, or Lee Terrace. <clears throat> Signing come out from the Ordinance Committee to order public hearing. Madam Chair from the Ordinance. Thank you, Council President. In the vein of the last item that we just discussed, document number 193-13 did also come up from the subcommittee to um, the unanimous favorable recommendation to order public hearing to allow National Grid to um, locate these polls on Leeds Terrace, and I make that in the form of a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Um, Council President? Yes. Um, just a point of information, document number 192-13, which is another national grid item with regard to the location of polls on Kent Street, also came up from the subcommittee with unanimous favorable recommendation. Um, I know there was two versions of the agenda, and maybe I'm looking at the wrong one. I apologize if I am, but it's not on my... That was supposed to be... Yeah, it is here to, uh, to be withdrawn. Remember, this item was already taken as, a, as an emergency. Sorry. Thank you. My error. Yes, sir. Next item on the agenda, document 196, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Request permission to use the Camp Union Common Park for a constitutional day at the park on September 16th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. This item came up from the Ordinance Committee. Madam Chair, from the Ordinance. Um, again, at that subcommittee meeting, it did come up with a unanimous favorable recommendation. The applicant's um, paperwork was all in order with regard to using the park, and it seems like a good cause. I just want to note for the other members of the committee, there was not a representative of the citizenship group at the subcommittee level, and we did urge them to send a representative here tonight just in case anyone had any questions for the group. I, I do make that, but it did come up from the subcommittee with a unanimous favorable recommendation, and I do make that in the form of a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. And discussion? Discussion. Discussion. If uh, there was someone here from the group, I'd love them to come up. Is there anybody here from this institution? I just want to make sure they knew some about Roy, policies. Roy Davis here? No. I mean, this is September 16, Madam Chair. Yeah, no, no, it's coming right up. I definitely support the um, event, and I definitely um, the paperwork is in order. They have all the sign-offs that they need. We have no reason to believe that this group wouldn't be as good as the other groups that come here. I'm just not as familiar with them. Um, but I, I am still supporting the item. All right, thank you. There's a motion on the table. It's been second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nice having. Next item on agenda is document 203, secondhand dealer license, 165 in Essex Street, submitted by Victor Reyes. Citing so come out from the Ordinance Committee, Madam Chair, from the Ordinance. Thank you, Council President. Um, this applicant's paperwork was all in order. They did help all the sign-offs. And I do want to make sure that my fellow counselors do know that this is a new second-hand dealer license. It did come up from the second subcommittee with the unanimous favorable recommendation to issue that license, and I make that in the form of a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. And discussion? Question. Discussion. Cousin Toomey. Just a question, and going over some of the data, uh, one, of the one of the applicants about um, we require the police review and also the building inspectors review. There's no signature on that. Is that necessary? I think they signed off somewhere else, though. Um, but did your version have the inspector sign off? Well, 
the building inspector hasn't signed it here, Madam Chair. We can approve it subject to the building inspector signing this document. And it seems like everybody else signed it. Police department signed it. Hurry check. I will say the um, inspector's office does sign it through the affidavit that we present um, that there's no jacket violations. But if you want to make me, if you want, I would be willing to amend the motion to say it um, pending their ability to get that final signature. And as long as they give that signature to the clerk. That's okay with me, but also on the, on the um, application through the city clerk's office, it has a zoning approval building inspector in that one too, and that's not signed off. I don't know if that's necessary. Where is that? That's, that that is that. That is that one. Huh? That is that one right here. The one that is not signed is the one that needs uh, approval through zoning. That's the that's the document that. That's the only one signed. that I have that's not signed. Is the this one document? That's this is the one that's signed. Yeah. Oh. We can take a vote subject to. Yeah, I think I want to do that. That's council's comfortable with that. So I make a motion subject to the applicant obtaining that final signature from the building inspector that we approve the issuance of the license. Right here, second. 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 Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Make sure we send. Next item on the agenda is document 20413, vendor license, uh, 34 Sargent Street, submitted by Sylvia Canseco Hernandez. Came out from the Ordinance Committee, Madam Chair from the Ordinance. Thank you, Council President. Again, at that August 22nd meeting, the applicant did appear before us. This is a request for a new transient vendor license. It was requested by Sylvia Canseco. Um, her paperwork was in order, and it did come up from the subcommittee with a unanimous favorable recommendation, and I do make that in the form of a motion. Go ahead, second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have. Our next item on the agenda is document 205, transfer vendor license 104 Olive Avenue, submitted by Raymond Gonzalez. Madam Chair from the Ordinance. Thank you, Council President. Again, at that same meeting, um, this applicant, also a new application, did come up. The paperwork was in order, and it came up from the subcommittee with a unanimous favorable recommendation to issue the license, and to make that in the form of a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The aye. Sabbath. Document 206, Top Notch Network. First permission to use the Campanile Common Park on September 14th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. for the second annual Children's Cancer Walkathon submitted by Joanna DePena, Madam Chair from the Ordinance Committee. Thank you, Council President. An um, a member of the applicants group did appear before us at that meeting. Their paperwork was in order and it did come up from the subcommittee with a unanimous favorable recommendation and to make that in the form of a motion. So here's second. second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Next item on agenda is document 214. Gladiated Health and Athletic Youth Football and Basketball Incorporated. Request permission for Tag Day on October 12, November 16, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Submitted by Sam Figueroa, President, Madam Chair from the Owners Committee. Um, thank you, Council President. At the um, subcommittee, representatives from the Gladiator Health and Athletic Group did appear before us. They explained their Tag Day. They were very clear with us that it's only um, adults that do this. It's not the children. And it did come up from the subcommittee with a unanimous favorable recommendation, and I make that in the form of a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? Discussion. Uh, Councilor LaPlante. Where will the tag days be held? Where? Yes. Um, not sure. Is Sam no. Figueroa here? Madam Chair, do you remember the date, the One location? was at the um, Colleen's intersection. They have permission of the property owner, and the other one was at. Um, oh, yeah. Name and address for the record, please. Yeah, Juan Pacheco, 100 Bailey Street, South Lawrence. Juan, where are you going to be having this uh, this event? Um, we're going to have two different locations. We got the Manchester Street and South Broadway in front of uh, Big and Beefy. Okay. Right. Which is, they allow us to use the parking lot so we can have all of the kids and stuff in there. And then also we have uh, in front of Carlin's and South Broadway and um, Dover Street. Okay. Anybody else? <clears throat> There's a motion on the table. It's been second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nice yes, having. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is document 216, 
Lawrence Civil War Memorial Guard request permission to use the Campanile Park for their 11th annual Civil War Weekend event on Friday, September 20th, September 21st, and Sunday, September 22nd, submitted by Joseph Bella, the Secretary, Madam Chair from the Audience Committee. Thank you, Council President. At the meeting, um, a representative from the War Memorial did appear before us, explained a little bit about their 11th annual event, and um, we did send it up with a unanimous favorable recommendation, and I do make that in the form of a motion. Right here, second. Second. Any discussion? None. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. aye, seven. Thank you very much, and uh, we hope that we see you all down there. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Next item on the agenda is document 217, dedication Canal Street, uh, Canal Street Bridge. Uh, Staff Sergeant Alex Jimenez, signing come out from the Orders Committee to order a public hearing, Madam Chair from the Orders Committee. Thank you, Council President. I know this was an item that you had put on the agenda. It's a really unique item, and I'm glad that you did that. This was dedicating the Canal Street Bridge to the memory of Staff Sergeant Alex Jimenez. And um, his father was at the subcommittee level. It was really nice to speak with him. And it did come up with a unanimous favorable recommendation to order the re requisite public hearing and to make that in the form of a motion. So here's a second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Next item on the agenda, document 223, Police Department Grant Award for 243636 Submitted by Mark J. Ionello, Finance Director. This item came out from the Budget and Finance Committee. Mr. Chair from the Budget and Finance. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. This item came, came up with the Budget and Finance Committee to accept $243,636. Um, this grant is for call takers, and uh, this came up with the unanimous favorable recommendations. I do that as a formal motion. Thank you. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, let's have it. Next item on the agenda is document 225. Review and acceptance of two HUD supported housing program grants, home at last and homes for veterans in the amount to 236,343, submitted by James Barnes, Community Development Director. Mr. Chair from the Budget and Finance. Thank you, Mr. President. This item was before the Budget and Finance Subcommittee um, to accept the HUD grant for both the programs you spoke about. Um, they come together, and th this is happening because their HUD is moving this. Um, funding from the Psychological Center over to um, Community Development and the end result is that Community Development will become an overseer for the program and this came up from the, um, from the subcommittee with unanimous favorable recommendation. We did ask for a report which we all should, all the subcommittee should have received uh, but it came up with a unanimous favorable recommendation as do that as a formal motion. I hear a second. 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 Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I right, seven. Next item on agenda is document 226, Frontline Movement Christian Ministry. Request permission to use the Camp Young Common Park on Sunday, September 29th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. to celebrate their first anniversary, submitted by Tomas Orta, is the pastor. And I'm chair from the Ordinance Committee. Thank you, Council President. Again, at that August 22nd meeting, a representative from the church did appear. He explained the um, event that they want to host. It sounds really nice. It's a 11 o'clock religious service followed by a 1 p.m. picnic style festival. And it is open to the um, members and to the public. And it did come up with a unanimous favorable recommendation. And I do make that in the form of a motion. Second. Here's second. Any discussion? All those in favor, in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah, it's seven. Next item on agenda is document 228, Lawrence Evangelic Church request permission to use the Camp Young Common Park, corner of Lawrence and Haverhill Street, across from the library on September 7th, 14th, 21st, and 28th, October 5th, 12th, 19th, and 26th, November 2nd, 16th, 23rd, 30th, and December 14th, 21st and 28th from Noon time to 3 p.m. for re religious services. And I'm chair from the Ordinance Committee. Thank you, Council President. Um, again, the paperwork for this applicant was all in order, and I know there was a comment made at the meeting about the uh, number of dates that the applicant wanted to use the common for fear that they would block out other religious groups. They did stress to us that they're just creating a prayer station, which is just two or three chairs together where people can stop to pray. It's over by the library corner, over by the... Um, Lawrence Street corner. So this is not something that's going to take over the common weekend after weekend. It's just them setting up a prayer station that they see being manned between two and six members of their faith group. 
Um, so it's not a large event. There could definitely be other events going on at the common at the same time. It did come up with a unanimous favorable recommendation. Uh, the original application had a December 10th date in it that's been removed. Um, and I make that in the form of a motion. Second. Here's second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Next item on the agenda is document 230, appointment of Oak Culture Council, Mrs. Christine Wallace. Uh, this item came up from the personnel committee, Madam Chair, from the personnel. Thank you, Council President. At our August 26th um, meeting, subcommittee meeting of the personnel, um, we had the appointment to the Cultural Council of Ms. Christine Wallace, and that came up with a unanimous, unanimous favorable recommendation to the full council, and I make that in form of a motion. Second. Second. Any discussion? Discussion. Council Toomey. Uh, just a, just a, uh, a statement, if it's okay with you, Mr. President. Uh, first of all, these, the quality of these candidates that we received at the personnel committee meeting was, were excellent, the ones I've gone through. Their applications indicated their educational background, which was suitable and very applicable to what they were looking for. And their experiences reflected their interests in the particular <clears throat> board. And the reasons they gave were exceptional. And if it's okay with you, Mr. President, as some of these are called forth, I'd like to read some of the reasons why they are applying for these different positions. You want to hear their reason? I, I want to read their reasons from their applications. Well, can we do one at a time? You well, can read I'm, this one. That's fine. And we'll go to the I'm next one. I'm not going to do whatever you want. I just want to get a couple of them, just, just to give them the public an idea. Sure, you can, you can do this one. Well, I'd rather, rather have a couple of others down the line. Already. Okay. When we get to those names, you can grab that one. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, anybody else? Oh, um, Councilor Toomey, you okay? You okay? I'm fine with it. Okay. I'm all set. Councilor LaPlante. Uh, thank you very much. Through you, Council President, I'd like to ask the Personnel Committee Chair a question. Uh, were you able to receive from uh, the Mayor's office the list of the names of the applicants for each of these boards and commissions? The applicants that applied and that were interviewed, but not the names of the of everyone who applied for each individual committee. Okay. So just so I'm clear on this, Council President, on the meeting of August the 20th, we had a meeting and one of the votes that we took that evening was to request that the mayor send to the council a list of all the applicants' names, just their names, not their applications, just the names of the applicants. And we voted on that by a nine to zero vote. And so as I understand it, unless some other counselor has a copy of those names that were submitted, I don't have a copy of that. May I ask if any other counselor has received that, that information? I did not. No. <clears throat> so my concern here, Council President, is that we made a request. The request not only was made on that date, but it was sent to the mayor's office on August 23rd as a reminder of what the council was looking for, and we still have not received it. That was 11 days ago from that request on, made on August the 23rd. Today is September the 3rd. We still have not received that. I think it's important that this body had made a request and has not received that information, that we not act on this matter until we receive that information. Um, this will not delay anything in the, in the Cultural Council or any other commission. Anybody who's currently on there will continue to serve on there. Um, the lame duck session hasn't started yet. We still have another, another full <coughs> city council meeting coming up before that time does, does arrive. But uh, I'm going to make a motion at this point uh, to table this document until we, uh, and it's no, let me make this one comment, it's no reflection on Ms. Wallace. Um, it's a reflection on the fact that um, this council has made a request, the mayor has ignored it, and once again, we are in a position where we have not received the information that was requested of us. And I think it does a disservice to us as policymakers, decision makers, and, um, and frankly, it may do a disservice to others who may be applicants who may not even know that their applications were reviewed or not reviewed. So based on that, I'd like to make a motion to table. Do I hear a second? Second. 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 All those in favor say aye. 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 No. 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 Oh, please. No. Council Vasquez. No. Council LaPlante? Yes. Council Toomey? No. Council Reyes? No. Council El Monte? No. Council Aquino? No. Council Bernal? Yes. Council Vice President Rivera? Yes. And Council President? Chair was no. Council President? The reason, and the reason for my no is because 
we all know this is out of our city council jurisdiction. The mayor appoints, sends the name down, and we say yes or no. It's always good to want to know. I wanted to know how many people apply for the position. But unfortunately, there's a line between, there's a separation of powers between the city council and the mayor's office. And we all know that. There is a separation of powers there. Do we want to see all the other applications? I would love to see it. That's the reason why I voted yes. But I don't want to make sure that this, just disqualify this person that, it, what's her name? This person that is uh, Wallace. Mrs. Wallace, just discard her name because I didn't receive uh, an application, another person that applied for the same position, just to see. This is another person. By the way, this is a non-paid boy. They don't get paid for this. We should be thank, thanking these people mm -hmm. and actually put a red carpet yes. here because they've only volunteer. I think in, in order for us to beat on these applicants on a daily basis, which we're usually accustomed to do, which I think is wrong, I think we need to <laughs> recheck our process when we, you know, when we interview people that actually want to serve on a board, non-paid board, away from their kids, away from their family, they work a full-time job, and they just want to serve. They have the will to serve the city. And you know, sometimes we beat on, on those poor people, and I feel bad for them uh, when they come before the city council. And that's the reason why I voted, uh, why I voted uh, yes to trying to get that information. But I knew, a lot of us knew we weren't going to get it, Council of Planning. I know you know that we weren't going to get it. Uh, so, because this is a request that we asked in the past, and we never got it before. But we tried again. Even though it's out of our jurisdiction, we tried anyway. Okay. So there's a motion on the table. It's been second. Um, Councilor LaPlante. Oh, Councilor Bernal. Thank you, Council President. Uh, just with regard to the application of Kristen Wallace, um, she seems quite ap um, qualified. And I just want to be clear that my, my personal vote on the motion to table had nothing to do with that qualifications of this candidate. And I'm quite glad that she and the other people that have applied did apply. I, I don't want in any way to imply that we don't need the service of our residents. We absolutely do and we welcome it. But at the same time, we need to follow protocols and we need to hold other people's feet to the fire when they don't follow protocols. We didn't ask to see every application. We just asked to see a list of names of who applied for which positions so that we could know who else is applying. And also, I do think I've gotten calls from people. I can think of one of my constituents in particular who was on the Greater Lawrence Sanitary Board whose feet seat was filled that he had reapplied for. I had no idea that he had reapplied for his own seat and it was filled with one other one of our neighbors who also was equally qualified but had I known my own neighbor that had had the position previously had reapplied for it and been denied I might have voted differently or at least noted that at the meeting. So I don't think it's outrageous to just ask for the names and the positions that they're um, applying for. I think it serves us all well to be more informed and um, I do think as the council pointed out by tabling someone, we're not telling them that they're not welcome to help. We're just saying we'd like to postpone it a little more till the information that we requested um, is provided. But knowing that the motion to table has failed, I definitely will be supporting Mrs. Wallace's, or Ms. Wallace's application as she seems quite qualified. And I do want to encourage her participation. Thank you. Councilor Plain. Yeah, I just want to re reflect and repeat what the councilor just said, that I agree with those comments, that it's not a reflection on the candidate. And um, it's a question of our process. Um, so I, I hope that the individual stays with us. But at this point, I'm going to charter object. Right, charter object. So that was charter object. Next item on the agenda is document 231, appointment culture council, Ms. Jonah Infante. Submit this item from the personnel committee, Madam Chair, from the personnel committee. Thank you, Council President. At our personnel subcommittee meeting of August 26. Um, we had Ms. Joan Infante who came before us to be appointed to the Cultural Council. Is Ms. Infante here? Can you please come forward? Thank you. And um, it was a three to one vote and um, make that in the form of a motion. Right here, second. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Discussion. Mr. Uh, President. Council, uh, Council Vasquez. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. President. Again, I think that all the people that have applied, they have their, um, you know, I admire them for, for taking a stand and, and being willing to, to serve the city. However, anyone that is currently employed by the city of Lawrence, I will have to vote no. Uh, it, and this is going to go all across the board. 
Um, and it is not a reflection of the individual, but rather something that I have started doing since I became a counselor. Um, and I will continue to do so because I believe that um, we should not have city employees also serve on boards. And that is a personal stance I've been, I've been taking since I uh, became a city counselor. Thank you. I point well taken. The other, uh, just to chime in on the last conversation we had, when you have, when it's very clear that you've, based on the conversation that was before this, before us, the previous applicant, very clear that if we see two names that were sent to us, it seems like counselors can probably pull for whoever they like, other than whoever was before. So clearly that could be a conflict as well in this body. So for us to say, okay, if I knew the other person that lived on the other street, on the other side is my neighbor, I would have probably voted different because I like this. This is how I took it because I like this person, but in this one, my vote would have been different. So that's that's wrong too. I just want to point that out. Mr. Mr. Blanchett. Just uh, Patrick Blanchett, Economic Development Director uh, for the city. I represent Mayor Antigua on the appointments, and doing some uh, some work to try to get some of these boards filled. I just respectfully for the folks behind me. Uh, I'm here all the time. But for the folks behind me, if we're going to do this exercise, if we could just try to object all of them so they can go home with their families, council. These are volunteer boards. Uh, I respect your process. I've sat there. Uh, I used the charter objection once in my 10 years on the council. But again, I respect the tool that it's there for. Um, but I would just ask respectfully to the individuals behind me rather than come in, do a half interview, then charter object, uh, that, we, that we go through the process. Uh, secondly, if, um, if I correctly, is, is September 18th will be your next meeting? So 19. 19. So I just want to caution, I'd like the council, I'm sure you'd like to use your legislative authority, uh, and I would hope that these appointments are voted up or down within 30 days as the charter uh, calls for. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Rivera? Yeah, I just wanted to, um, so two things. One is about the, appoint, the, um, the submittal of names of people that work in the, uh, for, the, for the city as members of boards and commissions. And, um, since our subcommittee, there's been a lot of conversation about that. Um, I think, like Councilor Vasquez, um, that these positions should be um, a little bit brought from outside of the circle of people that work for the city, um, not only because there are more people to get involved, but secondly, you'd hate to have a, um, a situation where a sitting mayor or um, a city council member um, it then goes out and tries to pressure someone who works for a department or for uh, um, for the school department or for the city side and because of the way they're voting on the commission and the board. Um, I, I always tell my friends the best way to impact government is to ensure you get a, a job outside of government so that you can have leverage on the stuff that's going on inside of it and not have a conflict of interest. Um, I think that's the way boards and commissions should be. You should have someone on these commissions that can feel solely um, beholden to the interest of the city and their neighbors um, and not have to worry about um, coming into a Monday morning um, after a tough vote on a big development deal and voting against the city council's wishes or voting against the mayor's wishes uh, position on a matter and have to then go see the person in a meeting. So those things are very, it's, it's not unimportant. You know, it is, these are folks who are lay people, they're not all the time um, in the fray of, of politics, and they may come in and do a great job collecting taxes or in, doing special services or feeding our children. Um, but just want to make sure that when they do that, it's not negatively impacted because they're, they're on a board of commission and they decide to do something against the wishes of the power um, that be. So I, I also, with, with Councilor Vasquez, will be voting against anyone who works for the city. Anybody going to try to reject that very quickly? Uh, Councilor Toomey. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I sat through on a, a personnel committee. All, I spent the whole weekend going over all these applications, and these, the people that were sent down to us are quality people, as far as I'm concerned. And to just uh, deny them the opportunity to represent the city in their various commissions and, and boards because we did not get what we asked for, which has happened a number of times in the past when the letters have been sent up requesting information that never came down to us. 
and we never, we never did a child object on anything before, that some of these people, and I wouldn't blame them at all, can look at the city and say, look it, I, I, I'm willing to step forward and to do something to help the city out. And here they are turning around <clears throat> and making me wait another time because they didn't get some information down from the mayor. Um, my opinion is that, the, as I said, in, in going through these, these applications, they're all extremely well qualified, very well educated, and very, um, and the, the appointments that they're looking to fit, fit them very, very well. So I will not be, well, I can't do anything if you're going to try to object to the whole thing. That stops the whole thing right, right in the process. But I wanted to express my opinion that this is, I think, uh, something that's going to hurt the city rather than help it. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Councilor LaPlante? <clears throat> before I'm, I'm going to make a motion shortly to table. Before I do that motion, I just want to, um, to say that uh, we could go through a charter objection through all of these, but what I want to do is see if there's a motion to table. Uh, we don't have to have the charter objection. There may be an individual here or two or three that some of us say we want more information on. I don't have to do the charter objection um, uh, tactic. But, you know, what, what should really concern us, and I think the previous previous speaker just said it, is that this city council has made multiple requests for information from this mayor that's been, uh, that's been uh, put on deaf ears, that has been unresponsive. And at some point, we have to say enough is enough. We've put a, a line in the sand and say when this council is looking to get information so we can make an intelligent decision, this request is not an outrageous request. It's a simple request looking to get basic information. Uh, as a courtesy to those who have applied, they should know whether or not their application was considered. At this point, I don't have that confidence, but I don't know for a fact that they have. The only way that I know for a fact that they've been considered is getting a list of names and see that in fact their, na their names are on that list. And so I think that what this motion to do, it does a couple of things. And again, it bears repeating, it has nothing to do with the direct applicants. We have a lot of qualified applicants here, a lot of good qualified individuals who want to participate in the city and they will have their chance. This is not a no for forever. This is just a no for tonight. But we have to look at the track record of the mayor and see what he has provided. There's not been, uh, there's been a track, a very spotty track record of people that he's been putting on his boards and commissions. I served on the Re Lawrence Redevelopment Authority for some time. They have not even met this year, for example. And last year they may have met twice. Individuals who should have been, who came here, who wanted to serve, a spotty track record, he's done nothing about that. And he had every right to go ahead. And these are individuals that he supported and sponsored and has something to do with. There's other boards and commissions as well uh, where individuals may have spotty track records that have come from his nominees. So what we need to do is he has a, a bad track record about putting friends and family, people who are not even interested, people whose arms that he twisted have put on these commissions so we could have a certain amount of control. And yeah, that might be the mayor's prerogative. But what I want to see is this become transparent. Let's put it out in the open. Let's see who the individuals are that have applied. And then, and then we can take a vote. So I'm going to make a motion. What point of order? Before I do a motion to the table. Um, so just so we're clear on it, this came in on what date? Are you talking on this particular? Oh, this all of particular them. item, all of them. They, they all came together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Clarification from the clerk. Well, we're going to have to make a decision before the 30th so, day. Uh, if now they automatically become. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was going to ask. So, August 15th, what's 30 days from that? September 15th. September 15th, I will say. 31 days. 30, yeah, 31 days. So, we, our next meeting is on the 19th. So automatically, so, they're so they're de facto, these become. We either got to we got either got to vote yes or either got to vote no. We have to act on it. I mean, if we table it now, we we have to go for a special meeting. We can always go for a special meeting and come back, but the next time we meet is September 19. So if we don't meet before that, these people automatically get appointed to the boards. Are so we have to vote it either up or down. Okay. My question's been answered. Okay. So, else? Else? so the point that the, I think the previous speaker was, is a good point, which is if we don't act, then they may automatically <coughs> go into effect. However, we do have the authority to have a special meeting. We do have that authority. And I submit that we should take advantage of that authority. Um, and our prerogatives, we can, you can call for it directly, Council President, or a number of us can call for it. So I'd ask that you would do that. Um, so it's, it's, it doesn't have to be that it automatically kicks in. Based on all that, I make a motion to table. I hear a second. Second. 
All those in favor say aye. 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 All. Roll call, please. Council Vice President Rivera. Yes. Yes, noted. Uh, Council Burnell. Yes. Council Aquino. No. Council Almonte. No. Council Reyes. No. <coughs> Council Toomey. No. Council LaPlante. Yes. Council Vasquez. No. And Council President. No. Council President. Yes. Yep. I'd like the charter six, reject, please. Six. Okay. Charter reject. Next item on the agenda is document 234, appointment airport commission, Mr. David Abadi. Point of order. Huh. Point of order, Councilor Rivera. I, I think that the, um, the question was praised earlier about holding people to the <coughs> process as a legitimate pro point. Um, what is that again? I think the, the question about whether or not we were going to go through this process through the application is a limited, legitimate point. Um, and I think that I'd like to make a motion to take them as a block. Before we, before we do that, Councilor, I just want to make sure that... Um, that um, if we're going to call for a special meeting and we all know we're not going to get this information, why try to object? That's just a question. We all know we're not going to get this information. We all know we're going to have to order a, public, a, a special meeting because this is history. I have faith in the mayor sometimes. <laughs> like, he might get us to speak. Well, so I'm just saying. We did history. We're not gonna get it. You know that. So Council um uh, Council uh, Rivera has a, a valid point. Um, if anybody wants to there's a motion to take documents. Council President, can I just say something please? Council Monte. Um as chairperson of personnel, I believe that you know these people they, they came out to a personnel meeting, committee meeting. They stayed for a lengthy amount of time. Certain applications didn't come up already for same basic applications didn't come up. Certain information was missing. We've already basically cut away from the appointments that had come up for our for the appointments for these boards and these committees. And I believe that there are people here who traveled to come here this evening. They traveled to come here on the Monday evening that we had um, our meeting. There's a gentleman here who, Mr. Coral, by no means, um, he's a person who had that day had to leave early because of his condition needed to be home today. I asked him if he wanted to be taken out of order. He said absolutely not. He wanted to stay for the entire meeting. These are people who have taken time out of their day these are non-paid boards. I understand 100% wholeheartedly regarding the list that should have come down, did not come down. It's not the first time. We may hold a special meeting, and what if the names don't come down? They still get appointed regardless. I think, I th I think it would be a, a, a dis I don't know, just a disservice to the people who are here who have been already sent up from the personnel committee here tonight just because of the simple fact that we don't have the lists of the names of the people who were who had applied for these boards I get it and I understand it but if we're not going to get it we're going to have a special meeting that's going to be held this exact same situation is going to happen and I just think once again that it's a disservice to the people who are here tonight who have taken their time out for the mm. second time to have this happen to them no. they're already here I mean, it, and, and like I said, the council president kind of assured us that that, that list is probably not going to come down. Well, the reason why is, is not because we think he's going to send it. You know, he doesn't have to. That's the that's, reason. That's the, the thing is, that is, I wish it was, if it was written in stone that says the mayor has to do that based on, you know, X section on the city charter, he has to do that. But there's none. Nothing, nothing obligates him to send it to us. So it's for us, it's useless, it's useless for us to even say, because it sounds good, and it makes you sound good out there to the public. But listen, what's the word that you use, uh, Council Varsha, disingenuous? Disingenuous. We can't be disingenuous. Because we know that it's beyond city council power. You know, it's a separation of power. It's out of our city council jurisdiction. We want things from the mayor. The mayor wants things from us. But at the end of the day, we all know that's not the process. We have no jurisdiction over that. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have to send us the information if he doesn't want to. Because nothing says in the law that he has to. So, I have yeah. another question, Council President. So what happens with the first two names since they were charter objected? Well, we have to, the next meeting, we have to take it up. And 
So that's the end of that's those it. two. That's the end so of those two. We people couldn't even pay. talk about those two. So they would have to reapply to the board, or they can't even. No, no, no. To the we board. can. We, we'll pick it up on the next meeting. Okay. But just again, go back. Sorry. Yes, yeah. yeah, part of the or. We won't be able to take them back up because there have been passed by the 30 days. Well, we unless, can, unless we can, council president calls a meeting. We're we gonna can, have, yeah for. Special okay. meeting. We have to call a special meeting. So we're going to call for a special meeting and all. Of I these will call a special meeting because so I. So we should take them as a block and. We have to call. I'm going to call for a special meeting because I think it's beyond us. This is, okay. you know, we make a lot. Of, a lot of us, I always we put pressure on the on the mayor to send names down, so we can fill these boards, and get these boards back up and running, and and, and serve as the people of this community. And a lot of us, were quoted, on the newspaper, verbatim. We want more people. Mayor's doing this. Now we have the people, now we don't want them. So, because we want more information at the end, which I understand, understandable. So, Council President, before we close, I'd just like to say to the applicants that obviously this is gonna be something where we're gonna have a special, another special meeting and I would like to say that I'm sorry for you guys having to come out and, and basically not waste your time, but to be here tonight in, in a way that we just figure this meeting out from here, I guess, mm -hmm. and I just wanna publicly apologize for the situation that's going on here tonight. Well, there's a motion to take this as a block, so uh, We're gonna unless, have to uh, basically I, I don't, personally, I don't think we should take them as a block, we just go one by one, but that's my preference. So, uh, Councilor Rivera, you took a motion to take this as a block from 234 all the way down to 256? 256. Correct. Councilor Vice um, no second yet. Oh, he hasn't made the, the motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was um, channeling the thought. I didn't necessarily want to <laughs> offer the, 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 the motion. I think it's a good idea. I just didn't want to. That's all right. I'll go. You know, I'm pretty good going very quickly to them. I'll make the motion. Take them as a block. Right here, second. Um, a yeah, second? Yeah, I think we've got to take them as a block. Second. Second, to take them all as a block? Correct. Offer a friendly amendment. Friendly amendment. Can we all, can we take number 2413 off that list? 240? Yeah, I, th no, I no. think we've got to take them all. No, if we're going to do them, we're going to do them all. I'm sorry. We're going to do them all. There's a we're reason gonna for that. We're going to approve one there's and a, not the no. others? No. There, there's a reason for that. I will. There's a reason for all of them to be there. Who has the floor, Council President? Sure. Can I have the floor? The not accept them. Okay. I'd like to make, I like to make an emotion, a motion and I'll explain why because I think there's some questions, legitimate questions that I want to answer. So there is one individual or one position that is brought forward by the unions. It's really out of the mayor's control. It's much different than any other board members. And for that reason, we can't ask the mayor to send the names down. That name is sent down. So it doesn't make any sense to go ahead and, and take one, that one that, doesn't, that, that the mayor has already sent down because it was based by AFL-CIO Mass General Laws, and if we need to quote it, I will. Mass General we Laws. We don't need it, but it, it, it can be him. It could be anybody in, yeah. the, if, in, in that union. It doesn't have to be him. But, he can say another person, part of that union. But the AFL-CIO decided to choose to that sure person. You know we have no control over the AFL-CIO. I we understand don't. that, but you want, you, you want to make sure that you get more applicants Whoever applied for that position as well, right? Because that's what you asked for earlier. It's, let me be perfectly clear about it. That is a limited amount. You cannot, I mean, I don't understand what the, what the confusion is. Uh, chapter 121B, Section 5 is very clear in the Mass General Laws where it well, states that, that, that it has to that. come from there. You cannot force, we cannot force that union to pick somebody else. We yes, cannot. you can. How? You've got to be part of the union. Well, that you can, it could be five or ten of those applicants from that particular union that could be before us. It doesn't have to be this particular person. It could be anybody that's part of that union. No, I get but that. We want to know. I want to know, just like you, yeah. how many other union members apply for this particular position. But because this, you asked for that. But, but I didn't ask for the FLCIO. It was a very clear distinction, and I think it's apples and oranges. We are asking for the mayor for the city of what no. was what the applications were for there. That was a Listen, different application I, we, to made to a third a third party. We've been in a dead horse. You asked for a motion to you know an amend it wasn't approved. Any other discussion? Council of Aquino. It's clear to me that this is about the mayor. This is clear to me that it's about the mayor. You don't you're not alone here. 
we take decisions here. It's either your way or no way. That's wrong. That's Council. very wrong. I'm sorry. Well, Foreign word taken. So, uh, Councillor, can you please read the motion? The motion. Repeat the motion, please. Motion on the table currently is uh, Council Vice President Rivera to take the items 234.13 to 256.13 as a block. Seconded by Council Aquino for the purpose of. Taking us a block. Taking us a block. All those in favor, taking us a block, say hi. Aye. Aye. No. Roll call, please. Second. Council Vasquez. No. So this is just taken as a block. It's just taken as a block. No. Council LaPlante. <laughs> no. <coughs> Council Toomey. No. Council Reyes. No. Council Monte. <coughs> yes. Council Aquino. Yes. <coughs> Council Bernal. Yes, please. Council Vice President. Yes. And Council President. Chair votes no. Next item on agenda is what's, what's the vote on the council? Five, three, I four. I get three, uh, four. Yes. Which way? Next item on agenda is document two thirty four appointment airport oh. commission. Mr. David, I think that's the one we just took. Mr. David Abadi. Mr. Abadi, we have not done Mr. Abadi. All right, Madam Chair, from the personnel. Thank you. Appointment personnel meeting met on um, the 26th, and it came up. Let's see, Mr. Abadi. Mr. Abadi is a board reappointment. Uh, Mr. Abadi lives on Seven Liberty, and it came up uh, with a unanimous vote, and I make that in form of a motion. Second. 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 Any discussion? Yes. Council to me. Just to make a comment on Mr. Abadi. First of all, for that particular uh, commission, that particular. Uh, Boy, the airport commission, you have to have someone who's very, very either a pilot or very much involved with, with flying. And Mr. Abadi is of that nature. He has, uh, he, he does, he's a pilot, uh, which is needed on this commission. So that's my opinion. Also. Also, anybody else? Councilor LaPlante? Which position is he taking? I'm not sure. The airport commission. Is it a reappointment? Yes. It's a reappointment. Reappointment. Oh, no, David Abadi is a no. He's a, he's a new, new applicant. He's so new. Neil, Neil. I mean, this gentleman is, has every qualification you can it's think you. of. Uh, he came before the personnel committee. Uh, we're lucky to have a person with such background and such experience in that board representing our city. Councilor Rivera? I, I, j I would like to know from the mayor's office which position they're filling with this board, this board if that's possible. Mr. Chairman, respectfully, I have a list of that which I can give to you respectfully. I'm not going to, I mean, I, I don't understand why we're not trying to objecting right off the bat instead of having discussion. It's always good to have discussion. Well, good, we're going to probably have debate. discussion. Do the hell the debate. I'll provide the dates when, when we take up the vote. We're taking up the vote. I miss some, I miss some So I'm asking whether or not it's, my, my question is nothing to do with the charter objection, is it? Patrick. You got a second? The question, the question, question he wanted to know was who, whose position is he yeah, taking? So. That's what he wants to know. No, I understand that, but if we're going to go through this each, and I, I don't know if it's like we're at the dentist here. <laughs> I just, I, respectfully, I would just ask that you chatter object. Folks are, are ready to leave. They don't understand what chatter objection means. That hasn't been explained yet. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, respectfully. Commissioner Jack Fitzpatrick, he's taking the place of expired term. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, Point of inquiry. Yeah, I just want to know: Did Mr. Fitzpatrick reapply? Not sure. Did he reapply? I don't know. I don't have the list. That's the exact type of instance that I'm talking about, though. If you know someone who's on the board, you know they're fully qualified, and then their seat is being bumped. Did they reapply or not? Is important information. It helps make a good decision because if there's a qualified applicant, maybe they should be filling a different seat with a different qualified applicant, or someone is not reapplying. It helps us to have that information, which we don't have. Um. Point of inquiry, Mr. President. Point of inquiry. What's your inquiry, Councilman? My, my inquiry is this: If we get a name of, if we have two app, we have two applications. One one comes down to us, and another name comes down to us that hasn't been sub submitted by the mayor. Where do we stand with that? We cannot vote on the person who the mayor did not send down. We have to vote on the person who came down. Correct. And if if the person who 
name the mayor sent down is very well qualified, well, what reason would you not want to prove it? Simply because this other person came down? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. No, it, I, I respectfully, and very respectfully, because I do hold you in the utmost regard, I, I respectfully disagree. I think of the instance of my own husband, who chaired the planning board, who Mayor Dowling tried to ramrod out of here because she didn't like votes he was taking to try to stop an apartment building from going in on Beacon Street. Once the council knew who he was being replaced with, who the applicant was replacing, they immediately changed their vote to vote the other way. I think knowing who someone's replacing is absolutely vital information. And if we've asked for it, we're entitled to it. And it should absolutely influence our vote. So this would, so this, this would influence your vote? To know who he's, yes, absolutely. I, if we want to compare the gentleman, Mr. Abadi, with Jack Fitzpatrick, I love the guy, because I know every all know love Jack. This gentleman, David Abadi, it's by far, by far, has a, even more experience than most of the board members that are currently there. So, and Jay, this, this gentleman is way, by far, a more qualification than, than Jack. If that, if that was your problem. I like Mr. Fitzpatrick. Okay. I don't know what his qualifications are for that board or not. I do know he's experienced on the board. He brings some longevity and some uh, consistency, which is always helpful. Um, but it would be helpful if we had the information ahead of time, like we asked for it, so we could make this decision thoughtfully, not on camera, um, with the information in front of us, which is why we ask for information ahead of time. And when we don't get it, it puts us into this position. And now people get mad at fellow counselors rather than saying who the true problem lies is with not having the information that we requested, that we unanimously voted for. It wasn't like one council said, ooh, this would be fun to have, and the rest of us said, no, that's a silly idea. We voted unanimously. Okay. Well, we'll take it. Turn. I'll make a motion. You want to speak? I'll make a motion to, um, I'll make a motion to table. Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. No. Roll no. 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 no call, please. Council Vice President Rivera. The table? The table. No. Council Bernal. The table, yes. Council Aquino? No. Council Almonte? No. Council Reyes? No. Council Toomey? No. Council LaPlante? Yes. Council Vasquez? No. And Council President Moran? Chair was no. Motion failed. Failed. Council President, Council. a point of order? Point of order. <laughs> Council Is it Rivera. possible? I mean, we took a, uh, a point, uh, we took a motion to approve. Can I make a, a motion before this, this this item is called? Take this item and the rest of these items as a group? Mm -hmm. I'm to do that. I'd like to do that right now. Well, let's, let's wait for the chat of objection and then we'll take the next <laughs> well, I'm trying to. And then we'll take the next badge. Yes. Through you, Mr. President. We, we have another President. motion on what, the floor what, what, right now. There's a motion already. So there's a motion to the table, it failed. And there's a motion to approve. Correct. And Councilor LaPlante uh, is ready to. Can I ask Council one question, Council President Moran? Yes. When, when a person's name gets charter objected, can they please explain to the public? Can you please explain to the public? Well, the charter object, what that means is uh, the Councilor, as soon as the charter objects, all the discussion ends, no debate. And we'll have to, it doesn't mean it fails, it means we have to take it up on the next meeting. That's a pretty much. The small version. So our next meeting will be, I will have to go for a special meeting. I will be calling for a special meeting. Because I think to me this is very significant. And I think these boards, we need to make sure that these boards are up and running. Can I ask a question? <clears throat> no, just I apologize. Yeah, it's just the protocol. Just one second. Uh, it seems like we're breaking a lot of protocols. So, Councillor LaPlante? So, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to make that in a second here, but one of the things I think that we fail to talk about here is we do talk about the applicants, and like everybody else, I'm thankful that they applied. I'm thankful that people have got an interest. But also keep in mind, our responsibilities are as well as to the people that we represent as to the people of the city of Lawrence. And I think those individuals, our residents, have been done a disservice by the mayor and his selection of individuals, not all the individuals, but a, a, a certain, a good number of them over the last three years. He has not bought at least this counselor's uh, judgment that he's done a good job 
or any kind of confidence that he's doing a good job. And I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt on any one of these until we get the, the right uh, information down that I think that is uh, very simple. The onus is not on us, counselors. The onus is on the mayor. He had, he had multiple months, perhaps even years. I know people have applied in 2011 for their own positions, and I don't even know if they were, if they were even uh, considered. But there have been years that people have applied for positions that have remained dormant. So if we're going to be angry with anybody, counselors, we should be angry with the mayor who decided to sit down and do nothing for years on appointments. And now it's September before the lame duck session, and you're going to get upset at certain councils for making some of these motions? I think we're wrong when we're making those kind of assumptions. Dead wrong. I make a motion to charter object. Charter object it is. No. Next item on agenda is actually document. I'd like to make a motion to take the rest of these items. 236.13 through 256.13 as, as a, a block. As a block. Do I hear Taken. a second? Any discussion? Oh, what's the repeat the motion, oh, please? I'm sorry. Take it as a block. Which numbers? From 236 237, 240, 240, 247, 242, 242, 242, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, 246, and we can go about the best of the rest of the minute, rest of the meeting, and we will have lessened the torture. So I would encourage my counselors not to vote against this motion, unless, of course, they would like to lengthen the torture. There's a motion on the table to be second, and before I do that, I just want to make one last comment. Uh, it is very surprising to me, hearing from an attorney, an attorney, quote unquote, I think, to know the law to know what the jurisdictions are between the right and wrong, to make such statement, and I'm, I'm not defending anybody, from an attorney, mind you, even though he doesn't practice, but from an attorney that knows the laws, that knows that this is, is out of our jurisdiction, let me raise my voice, because I think it works, to make such statement. So there's a motion on the table to take it as a block. Mm -hmm. It was second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so heard it. So no. can you? No. That was a no. I voted no. So oh, no? Roll I call, think please. everybody deserves to so be individually call. treated call, and be heard. And we should go by one by one. One by one. Council Vasquez. No. Council LaPlante. No. Council Toomey. No. Council Reyes. No. Council Almonte. Yes. Council Aquino. Yes. Council Brunel. Yes. Council Vice President. Yes. And Council President. Chair was yes. I'm looking for a motion to Two, actually. Five. Five. Yes. To okay. actually, I'm looking for a motion to just table five. all these items. So moved. Are you second? No second. Well. Second for discussion. No discussion on table. Yes. Oh, Councilors, I, I think we it should just, table uh, these items. Is there a second? So that we can we have our that? special meeting. We're going to have a special meeting no matter what. No matter what. Like, well, so then uh, we should table these items instead of having to go tonight. through this entire. Like discussion on the motion the table. There's a motion on the table. Second. Do, do I, was there a second? No second Not to yet. table? No, okay. Yes. The motion was made by who? Council by myself. Oh. Table. No second. All right. Second. All those in favor say aye to table. Yes. No. No. Roll call, please. No. Council Rivera. No. Council Burnell. Yes. Council Aquino. No. Council Almonte. Yes. Council Reyes. Excuse me. No. Council Toomey. No. Council LaPlante. No. Council Vasquez. No. Council President. Chair was yes. So Mr. President, I'd like to take fails. a motion to. Does that pass or that fails? Fails. I'd like to make a motion to accept them as a block for discussion. We already took it as a block. 
not to accept them all as a block. We did. No, no, to approve. You wanted, you wanted to approve it or you wanted to table it? Yeah, just as a point of order, the reason why I wanted to take them as a block to you, Mr. President, is so that we can then vote on them as a block. Okay. And so then we can take a motion to table as a block and then make. I asked for a table to table it as a block. That failed. was the motion and it failed. Yeah, my concern was that if we take a motion to table and we have a special meeting, the charter objection language still stands and then we're passed into another meeting. Am I incorrect on that, Council? Just Mr. repeat the, the motion again. Sounds right to me. It, You're making a new motion. My new motion is to take them all to approve them as a block approve. for approve. discussion. That's different. And then um, a motion to table can be made. Okay. And then, uh, then there's a motion, motion on the table to approve. Do I hear a second? Motion to approve all of them for discussion. Do I hear a second? Second. Discussion, discussion. Council Rivera? I have nothing to discuss. No? I'd like Council to make a. <laughs> Let's like try to object all of them. So we can, so we can I, I don't, want, I don't want to let someone else have a chance to speak. I don't want to. No, 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 no. My question is, the, if we're going to have a special meeting, why is the reason that we need to discuss this tonight? Yeah. Exactly. Well, I it, mean, it makes no sense. Time. I mean, it's, it's coming time. all around and, and, it, and it's getting the same. But it has to go through the, pro, it has to go through the process. So, you all set? Yeah. Okay. Can I the plan? I'll try to object. Try to object all of them. All right. There you go. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Motion to recess, Mr. President. Second. Recess. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. No. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to get this over with. Oh, we're close to the end. No. Council Vasquez. Yes. Council LaPlante. Yes. yes. Council I Toomey. I said publicly that I'm sorry. Would Council Toomey. Would you mind repeating the motion again? Motion to recess. Recess. All right. Motion to recess. Recess. For recess. Five recess. Yes. Five minutes. Yes. Five minutes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Council, Council Reyes. Reyes. Council Reyes. Yes. yes. Motion to recess. Council yes. Almonte. Yes. yes. Council Aquino. Yes. Council Bernal. Yes. Council Vice President. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. All right. Recess. Five just minutes. Also say yes. <laughs>
The marijuana was taken out of order. for a motion to get out of recess. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Do I hear a second? second? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Document 259.13, Lawtown Boxing Gym Incorporated request permission to allow boxers, staff, and parents Parents to stand at the corner of Broadway, Spruce Street, and the four corner of South Union Street on Saturday, October 5th, and Sunday, October 6th for Tag Day from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. to raise funds for their boxing gym. Submitted by Gloria E. Candelario. You have the five corners. Madam Chair. <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> and I know. <laughs> just as it's just because it's my motion, I think that the the item that is in your packet. I believe all the information is there for the um, for the event. And uh, I think that the we're here, somebody's here to answer any questions that we may have. Uh, one second. There's a motion to take it as an emergency. It was being second. We were yes. Second. <coughs> we're <coughs> Council Monday voted. <coughs> yes. Already voted. It's, already, it's already emergency okay. stage. Okay. All right. Councilor Rivera again. No, just um, sorry about that, Council President. I just want to let folks know that if there's any questions on the matter, it's in your packet yep. in the back. Mm -hmm. And the sign-offs are all there. Everything that we needed for the... Um, the event and also um, Mrs. Candelario is here before us if you have any questions. If you have any questions, I'm looking for a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Any second. Any discussion? All those in oh. favor say aye. Aye. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye, seven. <coughs> You're all set. I'll say. Thank you so much. <coughs> uh, next item on the agenda, let's see. It's uh, it's withdrawn. Document 192-13, National Grid and Verizon, request for permission to locate poles, wires, and fixtures of Kent Street. Is that come up from the ordinance committee, Madam Chair, from the ordinance? Um, thank you, Council President. At that same meeting on August 22nd, we did move unanimously to send this up um, at the request of Andy Wall from the um, city engineer's office to be withdrawn, and I make that in formal motion. Right here, second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Council, this one, two, three, four appointment. Can we take that? Actually, no. Document 243, appointment of Board of Register, Mr. Victor de Jesus. Uh, this item came up from the Personnel Committee to be withdrawn. Madam Chair, from the Personnel Committee. Thank you, Council President. This item, along with the other three appointments, were sent up uh, from uh, the Personnel Committee meeting to be withdrawn upon request of the Mayor's office. And I make that in form of a motion. Well, here's to second. Withdraw. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Document 253, appointment zoning board, boards of appeal. Mrs. Jennifer Lopez. This item came out from the personnel committee. Madam Chair from the personnel. Once again, um, this item was also sent up uh, to be withdrawn uh, at the request of the mayor's office, and I make that in form of a motion. Right here, second. 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 All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Document 254, appointment zoning board of appeal. Ms. Diana Lorenzo. This item came up from the personnel committee. Madam Chair from the personnel. Thank you, Council President. This item was also sent up to be withdrawn at the request of the mayor's office, and I make second. that in form of a motion. Right here, second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Abstain. Next item on the agenda is document 255, Appointment Zoning Board of Appeals. Ms. Sandra Padilla, Madam Chair from the Ordinance, from the Personnel Committee. 
Thank you. That item was also set up to be withdrawn at the request of the mayor's office, and I make that in form of a motion. Second. 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 All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Yes, I have a next item on the agenda is old business. Document 295, disposition 491 Hampshire Street. Proposed amendment to conditions of prior sale. This item was submitted by Dan McCarthy, Lance Hughes Planner, is going down to the Housing Committee. Uh, next item on the agenda is document 16, John Dillo, collector license. Auto Recyclers Group, 48-50 Medford Street. Request to amend license. Roger A. Farrah. I know this, the owner of this property is here, and all he wants to do is uh, add, after Auto Re uh, Recycles Group, he just wants to add L LLC right after that name. Madam Chair, from the audience. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Council President. Um, I, just, I do have a question, because I just want to make sure I'm understanding the issue correctly. Um, it seems very straightforward, though. When we take when we took the um, item to issue the, the license, we issued it to a specific applicant. Is that the issue? And we issued it to him as a part of a group, not stating that it was a formal LLC. I just want to make sure I'm, I don't have that paperwork in front of me. I guess this is making me. I'd love to see that, yeah, that'd be. Hi, Mr. Farah. Hi, good evening. Through you, Council President, can I just ask you a quick sure. question, too? Um, I see application is here. It was filed back in January of 2013. Um, and you have a partner that filed with you, and you had it as Auto Recyclers Group was the business name. I just want to be clear, the amendment you're asking us today is just to change the business name from Auto Recyclers Group to Auto Recyclers Group LLC? Yes, we'd just like to add the LLC to the license. So we can put it into a corporation for uh, liability issues. Okay. And is that going to change the status of your answers to any of the questions? No. Um, for instance, you said that you and Mr. Cueto mm -hmm. had not been um, convicted of any felonies, um, have no violations. When you change the name of the applicant, now we're saying that the auto recyclers group hasn't been convicted of a felony. I just want to make sure that you and your partner are still oh, yes. felony free. Uh, no, no, everything is still the same. I just okay. want to add LLC to. Just make sure I wasn't missing something that's, other than that, it seems um, very technical and, and I just want to make sure that wasn't what was happening here. Thank you. I'll be supporting the motion. So, make a motion. So I'll make a motion to approve the modification of the applicant. Um, to be Auto Recyclers Group LLC, and I make that in the form of a motion. Second. I hear a second. Thank Any you. discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I just have it. Next item on the agenda is the table, table matters going to new business, document 257, <coughs> resident parking, Oak Street, hmm? entire length. Delete resident parking ordinance submitted by Councilor Reyes. It's going down to the owners committee, document 258, Knox Street. Proposed one way submitted by Councilor Reyes, going down to the owners committee. Document 260, Handicap Parking, Removal of 62 Aim Street, submitted by Councilor LaPlante. And I know Councilor LaPlante would like to. Uh, yeah, sure. So just a quick, I know we need to order a public hearing on this. Yeah, Council so Plan. this is actually a, a resident that I, uh, that uh, was recently sold uh, that uh, I was a trustee in. And uh, the, the handicap placard was actually for my dad before he passed. Uh, so I'm very familiar with that placard in that street. So if it's okay with the council, for the sake of the new owners, I'd like to make a motion to order a public hearing at the next hearing so that they can have that removed and have an extra parking space. I always second that motion. I believe we're going to suspend the rules and take this. We need a motion to suspend the rules and order a public so hearing. Moved. Second. second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Uh, there's, a motion, there's a motion on the table to order uh, a public hearing. Was it, That was second? Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have it. Next item on the agenda is document 261. Council President, under uh, old business 295.05, disposition of 491 Hampshire Street. Uh, sure, uh, as soon as I finish, well, we're going by it, but let me uh, finish the new business and we'll go back up. Okay. Uh, document 261, fire department grant uh, for $22,030. Submitted by Mark Gianello, finance director, is going down to the budget and finance committee. 
They're going to be 262 Second Hand Dealer License, 139 Water Street. Submitted by Victor C. Fernandez. So that's the owner's committee, document 263. Handicap Parking, Murrow Street, delete. Going down to the owner's committee. Councilor uh, Amalta, you say you want to take one item? No, no, no. Uh, you skipped over uh, document 29505, the disposition of 491 Hampshire Street on, under Open old business. To I'm sorry? Send it to housing. No, I already sent it to housing. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we didn't hear it. Sorry. Anything else? Looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Good night. Signify by.